Thank you for subscribing and liking. My name is Imfan Akpan, and I'm a professor of accounting. This is gonna be the best video yet. And this video is more, I don't wanna say it's a rant, I don't wanna say it's a question, but I would like to get your comments and your thoughts. Recently, I purchased an NFT. I purchased an NFT on uh, the Sandbox. Purchased it on Sandbox. Well, I purchased it, it's a Sandbox uh, NFT. I purchased it through the OpenSea and I purchased it with Ethereum, so not with SAN. So I purchased it with Ethereum. The, the NFT's $15 uh, NFT. The Ethereum gas fee was, I mean, it, it, it was about $45 thereabout. The transaction went through. So my question is, if we got an NFT purchase price, $15, and then we've got this gas fee for Ethereum to process this transaction is $45. How do we account for that? Is that really a $60 transaction? If I sold it for $15, am I selling it at a loss? These are things that, that come to mind when I look at what we call the metaverse because we're moving into this, this age of the metaverse. Mark Zuckerberg just announced or changed the name of Facebook to Meta. We already have metaverses existing. How is this going to impact us? What questions should we be thinking about as accountants? And how should we be handling these, these transactions? So I guess this one is more of a, a rant question, but I'd love to hear something in the comments or on Instagram or via email. Comments are great. Keep the comments coming. I want to hear what you think. Make sure you like and subscribe. Also take a look at the other video I posted at the American Accounting Association where I, I just did a presentation this weekend on using uh, virtual reality in the classroom, the metaverse in the classroom, and, and how that works with Verbella Frames. Really exciting. Thank you so much for subscribing. Want to hear your comments.